Hi, this is Dorothy with Dot Scrapbooking, and I am going to make a challenge card from Atlantic Hearts Sketch Challenge uh, today. And I had the sketch, and now I don't. Maybe I do? I do. Here it is. So this is the little sketch that we're going to do for the card. And um, I'm going to put a flower in the center, so that's where I'm starting which is always nice to have a sketch to go by. It just, then you just get to pick paper and how you will want, uh, want to embellish. So it's really kind of, it's nice having the sketch ready to go. So I went ahead and cut a few things, one of them being the white, I need to put my glasses on, I can't see what I'm doing. Ah, hello. Um, the white glitter paper. So glitter is always fun, right? So there's the background. Now I am going to take a piece of the is I took a piece of the Isabella. You can see the lemons in the flower, and I cut a background using this die cut, and this is called the Stitched Lattice Background die cut, and it is going to be retired uh, come August 31st. So if you like this background for making cards, then I would suggest um, to get it before it's all gone. Anyway, I'm putting some liquid down here because the Regular roll-on adhesives aren't too fond of the glitter paper, so I'm using the liquid to help it stick better. So this goes almost out to the very edge, but you get to see a tad of glitter around the edge. And so I'm just going to let that maybe... I'll put this on top of it and it can sit there and think about that and I'll put this over here and so the next thing I'm going to put this bracket and these brackets are the stitched fancy brackets I'm not sure whether those are retiring they might Okay, and then I've got this flower here that was a die cut from the Isabella Scrapbooking Stamp and Thin Cut set. And so that's that one, and I am going to color it with our watercolor pencils. Okay, I had to go check on what my husband was calling me about. All right, so I'm going to um, take my pencil here, which is sort of the toffee color, and just kind of go along like this just to add a little depth down at the base of the petal, petals. And just, just like a hint of color. Okay, and then I've got, let's see. Green for some leaf. I'm back. Oh, my friend called. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off. 
And so that's on there good and tight. Okay, so what I was doing, I was, the dogs are fighting below me. They're kind of play fighting, which is where all the no weird noises are coming from. So I'm just going to do kind of an edge around this leaf. And down the spine. And then I'm going to take kind of this muted color and... Try to make the green so it's not quite so bright, a duller green. And I'm hoping that that works when I add a little bit of water to it. We'll see. Maybe I'll add a little of the tof toffee to it. I'm just going around the edge, down the spine of the leaf. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I need a little water brush. So here's my water brush. Just make sure there's no color on it. Oh, there's a tad color on it. A little yellow. So you can leave the pencils as they are but if you add water to it, then the color it turns into watercolor, thus the name watercolor pencils. So it blends a little bit. Just want to pull some of that green away. Is it so bright? I need a really muted green, which is why I brought in the yellow and the tan to try to mute that green some. So I'm just kind of pulling off some color, some of the green. Okay, well, I pulled off. See, I did pull off some green. And I'm just softening the, the watercolor here. And I want to try to pull it, pull the color out a little bit to extend it just so it kind of shows kind of a natural fading. Yeah. People with more artistic talent than I can do a better job of this, but I'm just kind of pulling some color away. Okay, so now what am I going to do? I've got this flower, and I have this bracket. So I may want to lift. I think I'll put the bracket down and then lift the flower. The ginger is, she vocalizes so much. I have no idea. I mean, she's not in pain because I've, Looks like the leaves should go up to me. Maybe like that. Okay, so I'm hoping that the foam tape is going to want to stick to the uh, glitter paper. Let's see. If not, then I'll add some... I want to mention anyway, so I definitely uh, want the foam foam tape there. And so, let's see, if I put this down, which 
you like that? I'll flip the pencil action here. doesn't want to color because the it's wet. So the next thing I'm going to do is put thinking of you along the bottom. Oh, I know what I was supposed to do. Let's see, how does this look on there? This. Is that too bright? It's kind of cheery looking. Okay, I'm going to, this is a sticker from the sticker sheet, and I think I'll add just a little dovetail to it. Like that. I kind of like that cheery, cheery yellow. And then I'm going to lift this up and let's see, I'm going to go about like that and come over to this edge. So let's see. Okay, and I'm going to cut this off even with the card. And I still have some sticker left, so I'll put it back on the sticker sheet. And then I'm going to do a little banner, flag cut, whatever you want to dovetail. That's what it is. Okay, so there's a little dovetail. And then thinking of you, where's thinking of you? Oh, you know, I, here it is. Wonder if I should use, let me try something. That on there. Or do I want sage? Thinking of you or sage? Mm hmm. What to do, what to do. Tell you one thing I could do. This is what I should have done for the for the leaves. Now I now I come up with it, right? Oh my goodness, Ginger.
maybe I can add a little toffee to it. <laughs> Tell me your dogs make those noises. She didn't always do that. You know, I'm just totally messing up this leaf. I'm totally messing it up. I'm not fond of the leaves. I could have done a much better job, but I didn't. So, let me just make a little cut. And I'm gonna stamp my thinking of you and Sage. Okay, I really, I'm not happy with my leaves at all. Um, so probably what I would do is cut them off or something and try to do something else. And I'm gonna, I'm just brushing the edge of the paper. With the sage. So that's thinking of you in green. I think I'll put it in sage. Try that again. I am not doing very well here. Okay, I think instead of doing the scraping thing, I'll take a sponge and do it with the sponge. There we go, that's better. And I'm going to add some tape to that. Put my sage away. Put my little micro cloth away. Oh, I don't want to put my stamp away yet because here it is.
thinking of you. lost some of its stick when I pulled it up. So I'll add a little bit more to it. <coughs> you know what? I'm going to try cutting this leaf out. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, I was just out pulling some weeds and I'm coughing already. <coughs> I just can't deal with those leaves. They're just kind of messy looking. So let me see if I can do a fix. And that's what I'm going to do. There's one leaf there, and let's see if I can find another, another leaf. And I think I'm going to cut this leaf. So what I could have done was to just cut out one of these bouquet, like this beautiful one right here, and just put it on the front of the cord. Because you can totally do that. Okay, let me put some glue on the back of this. So I'm just saying, if you aren't exactly happy with what you've done, there are ways of dealing with it. Right, and then I'm going to put a little piece of foam tape there. And so there's my card. And let me just try to dress up the inside a little bit. 
with a little bit of a zip strip. Okay, and trim that off. And I think I'll put another one over here. trim that off and I had already so let me put this on so I don't lose it because so I didn't put it away from something else that I was doing okay so here we go So I had stamped this little thing, that second generation of this stamp, this one. So I did a second generation in toffee. And so there's my card and my envelope for the Atlantic Hearts Sketch Challenge. So I used our coloring pencils, which are these guys, and I used a water brush, which was this, so these were here, and of course I used this stamp, which is wild. Uh, from the Wildflowers. It's an A2 stamp, so it's, it's very inexpensive, and you could get a lot of use out of this. And the Isabella Scrapbooking Stamp and Thin Cut set. And um, the other thing I used were these brackets and this stitched, these are the stitched fancy brackets and the stitched lattice background. I think these are going... Uh, they were retiring come August 31st. <clears throat> so, microtip scissors, my favorite tool. So, thank you so much for watching, and please consider uh, giving me a thumbs up if you like my fix, and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, thank you so much. Take care now. Bye.